Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're checking out the best Adobe XD plugins of 2020. Now these are completely new plugins which are very useful and will help you in your entire design process. And you can also join my Telegram channel and you'll be joined to my group and you can post whatever you like, you can talk directly to me, it'll be an awesome way to interact. The first plugin is called Spacer. And as the name suggests, it allows me to space two or more elements based on horizontal and vertical axis. So I'll select both of these circles, I'll go to Spacer, and under Spacer I have two options, vertical as well as horizontal. In this case, I want there to be a 100 pixel of vertical space between these circles. So I'll select vertical and go 100 pixels on this. Now, as you can see, it has aligned both these circles and one circle is actually 100 pixels apart from the other. That is exactly what we had here. Same for horizontal, if two things are placed, two or more things are placed horizontally, I can set a particular horizontal value. Uh, in this case, I'll give it 100 again. And if I check this, it's 100 again. I can even set point value. So 100.5, if I go and I say apply, if I check it here, 100.5 it is. Now the next tool or plugin is called Gradient Angle. And as the name suggests, uh, it is a very simple plugin and it's made by the same developers as Spacer is. So I have a circle with a very simple gradient and I want this gradient to be 45 degrees in angle and I want it to be exactly 45 degrees. I could either go to the color panel here and set it. However, I would not be able to get exactly 45 degrees even if I tried. So what I'll do is I'll select the circle, go to gradient angle, and under gradient angle, I can select my own custom angle for the gradient. In this case, I want 45 degrees. Go 45 and press enter. As you can see, it is now 45 degrees angle of gradient. If I want it to be 180, that will be straight. Perfect. And if I want something like 90 degrees, Oh, that is straight. That is red at the top and yellow at the bottom. Perfect. Now the next plugin is also very cool. It's called Flowkit. Flowkit allows you to create user flows inside Adobe XD itself. It kind of works like overflow, but it's a free word. It's completely free and it allows you to create something inside XD itself. So for example, I want a snake uh, a snake arrow which connects these two artboards. What I'll do is I'll just click on snake and it'll create an arrow like this for me. So I'll uh, make sure that I adjust it and I'll place it appropriately based on where my page starts and where it ends. At any point of time you can click on this and you can adjust the arrow. You can either make it a circle like such here or you can select it again and change the color. And whichever color you want, you can change it to. You can even select whether you want another circle at the beginning, here you go. Or at the end, if you want maybe a square or a bar, whatever you like, you can actually choose from here and edit each and every arrow whenever you like. Or you can just reset it to default and it'll come back to its default state. There are three options, straight, curve, and snake for all your artboard connection needs. And I think this is a must try in 2020. Now this next plugin is called Merge Layer. And in this case, I will create multiple layers inside here. So one circle, two circle, three circle. Once I have this circle on top of this, I'll select everything. I'll say Command G or Control G to actually group this. And now I have a grouped layer. Now, if I want this grouped layer to become one layer uh, or to flatten this group to here, I'll go to Merge Layers in the Plugins panel and I'll click on Merge Layers from here. It asks you once more if you want to merge this group, which is Group 2. I'll say Merge, yes. And it merges this together. If I close this 
and go back to the layers panel, as you can see, group two is now one single element. This works great if you want to flatten out, say, a particular image with some other elements so that it makes it look like a flat image. Or you can even do this with UI elements as well. So if you want some icons to have a certain background, you can basically merge them together using merge layers. <laughs> now the next plugin is very interesting. I have a man here and I've given him a name as Lorem Ipsum. Now we often in our applications when we're designing them, we use Lorem Ipsum even for the name of people. To generate unique names for a wacko guy like this, I'll select Lorem Ipsum and I'll go to this plugin called Social Ipsum. I can select from three options, short text, username or real name. In this case, I'll choose real name and I'll say first name with last name, yes. And it generates random name for me right here. So in this case, it's Jenna Hamilton, which is which seems very authentic. Uh, Cristiano Romero, Tara Bradley, Ian Lee. You know, so it just randomly generates names. And if I have uh, three to four names listed out like this, I can use the same plugin to generate random names for all three of these text fields. So no matter how long the list of names you have in your application, you can use this to generate uh, names. I can even select initials. So it'll give me an initial in the, in the name here itself. Now let's try username just to try it out. So the profile can be anything. So profile can be my name and uh, suffix Puneet Web. So I can generate some uh, random usernames like this. Puneet Surrounding Wedding Web. <laughs> that is crazy, but it, it actually works. It's a unique name generator of sorts. I can even select short text and you can choose how many emojis you want. So this is very cool since it allows me to, you know, make short text, but casual texts. So if you're making a messaging application, this, this plugin, it'll, it'll be the most useful for you. By the way, just looking at this guy, you should go down below. He's screaming and he's saying, subscribe to this channel. Yes, go down below, subscribe to my channel. Also click this bell icon right next to it. Don't forget that bell icon. Otherwise this man will come in your dreams and haunt you. No, I'm just kidding. Now this next plugin is called Singari. Uh, it allows you to align elements based on your parent elements. So to actually show you guys a better example than that crazy old man, I've actually brought in a rectangle and three circles. So if I select all three of these, I can actually uh, adjust where these circles are placed. So align bottom left or align bottom right like this, distribute left, distribute horizontal, distribute vertical center, and that is perfect. Uh, as you can see, if I use distribute here in this case, it actually distributes uh, these one by one. So that it is put in a certain angle based on what uh, angle it is to be distributed. In this case, distribute left puts it here. Distribute right actually distributes towards the right of this element. It is very helpful, especially if you're using a lot of elements, a lot of components, a lot of paragraphs, this will work very well for you. Now, this next plugin is amazing. It's called Draft XR. It allows you to create VR applications or VR prototypes inside Adobe XD. Now, let me show you how to create a VR app in XD. But wait, no, I won't. For that, you will have to wait for a completely separate video, which I will be doing on the channel. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel, of course, and click the bell icon so you know that I am posting. And I'll post a VR or AR related video very soon. So stay tuned for that as well. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, well, you know what to do. Go ahead, smash that like button. Also click on that subscribe button right below this video and if you like my channel then share my videos it goes a long long way and i'll see you every monday and thursday god bless